first year that Maine has allowed eight person soccer in high school. This gives a chance for some of the smaller schools to continue to be able to play the sport. The Pine Tree Academy girls hosted Deer Go this afternoon. The game is played on the same field as 11 on 11 soccer, but the halves are shortened to 30 minutes. Chantel Bazane knocks in the rebound to give the breakers a lead in the second half. And then four minutes after that, Maddie Verrill adds another goal and Pine Tree Academy would win this two to nothing. It's been very enjoyable. I think we're 10 and one now. Playing 8v8 is definitely to our advantage as being a smaller team. Last year, sometimes we didn't have any subs for games, so playing 8v8 definitely helps. We can, you know, be refreshed and not be tired the whole game. In Class A soccer, the Wyndham girls hosted Thornton Academy here midway through the first half. Hadley Stoddard will cross the ball for TA and Kaylee Corio. Corvo scores on the second effort to give the Trojans the lead, but it would take Wyndham just 24 seconds to tie the game up after that when Marley Jarvis will score with her left foot. Wyndham would win the game 5-3. to three. It was all Rams. It was an all Rams matchup between Kenny Bunk and Gorham tonight. Kenny Bunk with a chance early in the second half, but Gorham goalie Lily Rubin is able to knock it away. Then at the other end, Piper Forges passes to Julia Reed, who adds to a Gorham lead here. Reed scored four goals in the 6-1 Gorm win. In high school field hockey, Falmouth taking on Scarborough. Emma Lally scored in the first quarter to give the Red Storm the lead. Their defense came up with a big effort but did not allow a goal. Then in the third quarter, Caroline Hartley will score off the scramble. In the front of the cage, Scarborough comes home with a key 2-0 win. That will wrap up.